Where do people retire and have the most money to spend? A new study has ranked the biggest U.S. cities by how much retirement income people have. Hello and welcome in for this week's Fastest Four Minutes in Finance. I'm Scott Inman. Well, a new study from Smart Asset ranks the largest 345 U.S. cities according to the mean retirement incomes for seniors. The study included guaranteed retirement income sources like Social Security, pensions, and annuities, as well as withdrawals from retirement accounts. So where do people live on the most in retirement? Well, we really shouldn't be surprised. Three of the top eight cities are in the Washington, D.C. area, where there is the highest concentration of employees of the federal government. They have access to some of the richest retirement benefits of any worker in the country, which includes a pension and a retirement account with an employer match. Called the Thrift Savings Plan, or TSP, there were 116,000 plus participants with $1 million or more at the end of 2023. Seniors in Arlington, Virginia topped the list with a mean annual retirement income of $90,140. That's more than $10,000 more than Cambridge, Massachusetts, which came in second. The Woodlands, Texas, which is a suburb of Houston, is third at $79,563. Berkeley, California is fourth at $78,949. And Alexandria, Virginia, also in the D.C. area, comes in fifth at $77,952. We find Highlands Ranch, Colorado at number six. That's just outside Denver. Chicago suburb Naperville, Illinois is seventh. Washington, D.C. ranked eighth. And Carlsbad, California, just outside San Diego. And Thousand Oaks, California, near Los Angeles round out the top ten. Now, Little Rock was ranked number 265 with a mean retirement income of $45,871. The average U.S. retirement income is $52,723. So a couple of takeaways from the study. First of all, there are only 14 cities on this list in which Social Security made up 50% or more of a retiree's total income. That's a great reminder that Social Security alone will not be enough for your retirement. Secondly, cost of living matters. Only two cities in the top 20 were in the South, where the cost of living tends to be lower. 15 of the top 20 cities were in the Northeast or West, where cost of living tends to be higher. So the higher incomes don't necessarily translate to a better lifestyle. Third, the median household income for those under age 65 in 2022 was $85,860. So on average, retirees are living on 61% of their employment incomes. While there are lots of expenses that could and should go away when you retire, 61% is low. Bottom line, if you are about to retire, how do these numbers hit you? Do you know how much income you'll have in retirement? Do you think you can live on 61% of your current income? Do you even want to be average? If you need answers to these questions, the first step is to work with a financial advisor who does retirement income planning. This can tell you if you're on track for your retirement goals and help you prepare financially for life after work. Thanks for watching. Want to become smarter financially in four minutes or less? Sign up at fastest4.com to get insights and updates like this delivered to your inbox weekly.